Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Textron Aviation celebrates Citation Mustang with final delivery. Third Bombardier Global 7000 joins flight test fleet. And record set for longest drone urban package delivery in the U.S. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 16th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. It's the end of an era. The final production Cessna Citation Mustang has rolled off the assembly line and will be delivered in the coming weeks, signaling the conclusion to a 12-year production run with more than 470 aircraft delivered to customers around the world. Rob Scholl, Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing, Textron Aviation, said, the Mustang proved to be an incredible success for our company and our customers, and we're thrilled to celebrate the ingenuity and pride that went into creating the world's most popular entry-level light jet. The company is positioned for a transition within the light jet segment as it continues to offer customers their Cessna Citation M2. The M2 was introduced in 2013 and has nearly 150 aircraft delivered to customers around the world. The Citation M2 features updated touch-controlled avionics and two Williams FJ-44 engines, facilitating cruise speeds of over 400 knots. The aircraft is designed for single pilot operation and features Garmin G3000 avionics and seating for seven. Bombardier's third Global 7000 has successfully completed its maiden flight. FTV3 joins a test program that got underway in November 2016. Just five months into testing, the Global 7000 aircraft set a record as the largest business jet to operate so close to the sound barrier, reaching a top speed of Mach 0.995. Michel Ouellette, Senior Vice President, Global 7000 and Global 8000 Program, Bombardier said, The Global 7000 business jet is highly sophisticated, state-of-the-art aircraft, and we are pleased that our flight test vehicles have been showing a high degree of maturity. Our test program's development and certification schedule is on track, and the addition of our third flight test vehicle is in line with our commitment for certification in 2018 as we accumulate more flight hours. FTV3 dubbed a navigator will be used to test the aircraft's advanced avionics and electrical system performance. It is the first production aircraft to be equipped with the dual head-up display. The Global 7000 FTV3 took off from Bombardier's facility in Toronto under the command of Captain Logan Lamping, assisted by his co-pilot Derek Thresher and flight test engineers Dwayne Moore and Matthew Di Maiello. After the break, unmanned delivery efforts set another record. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a great story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aerial TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aerial-news.net. On May 5th, 2017, a Nevada UAS consortium team Roadrunner set the record for long-distance drone delivery while flying a fixed-wing UAV over 97 miles to Austin, Texas using cellular connectivity. 
launched from a Central Texas urban location, the UAV flew a pre-planned route through the National Airspace System using a combination of the mobile command and control, a visual observer team, and stationary visual observers located across the flight route, who were equipped with enhanced radios and cell phone communications, which allowed the UAV to be flown using a cellular communications link until it successfully delivered its package in Austin. Team Roadrunner consisted of the FAA-designated Nevada UAS test site, Volans I UAS Latitude UAS AUV Flight Services, and the ground and mobile visual observer support from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Dr. Chris Wallach, director of the FAA-designated Nevada UAS test site and adjunct assistant professor of college of aeronautics at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University worldwide said, this was the most challenging, logistically intensive, and longest package delivery demonstration recorded to date using cellular technology in the NAS and allowed us the opportunity to demonstrate innovative capability, a demonstration necessity for the UAS industry. Nevada previously conducted historic package delivery BLOS demonstrations in Hawthorne, Nevada, at over 39 miles, as well as the first publicly recorded package delivery to a Reno homeowner. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. May 18th and 19th, experience evolution in person this month in Oregon. Call 541-923-2233 for a demo flight. This flight of Young Eagles offers the opportunity to children to come to the airport and learn about aviation. Local EAA pilots will fly kids from 8 to 17 years old at no charge though parents or guardians must attend and sign a release. The children will be ground schooled by a volunteer and they will also get the opportunity to fly with a qualified pilot. The annual AEA East Connect Conference is a two-day event that personally connects general aviation industry professionals. Formerly known as the AEA Regional Meetings, the AEA Connect Conferences have grown beyond simply receiving regulatory updates and technical training via a classroom-style lecture. Attendees are now more engaged than ever in the educational environment with the interactive discussions and analysis. After these messages, the Air Force accelerates hypersonic research. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. On May 3rd, Air Force senior leaders met to consider options to accelerate hypersonics research and development. Hypersonics refers to flying at five times the speed of sound, also known as Mach 5 or higher. A recent Air Force Studies Board report identified that the U.S. is not alone in its quest for this increased speed. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International named John Walker of the Padina Group as AUVSI Member of the Year and presented several new chapter awards during ceremonies at Exponential 2017. AUVSI also presented awards recognizing its chapters and members for their support of the association. The Medivac Foundation International has awarded the 2017 Safety Management Training Academy Scholarship to Andrew Holcomb, flight paramedic for PHI Air Medical. 
Andrew receives a scholarship based on his commitment to aviation safety in our industry. Adopted during a recent high-level conference on SAR in Africa, which convened in Lome, Togo, a new agreement will be implemented in part under a separate plan of action adopted by the participating state's ministers. In a keynote address, Council President Aliou underscored the crucial role SAR services play in ensuring the safety of civil aviation operations. Transport Canada has approved the installation of the BLR Aerospace Fast Fin Tail Rotor Enhancement and Stability System on Canadian registered Airbus H125 AS350 helicopters. The H125 Fast Fin System was certified in late 2016 by the FAA and recently received approval from EASA. The system is available to the aftermarket as a factory installed STC option on new Airbus H125. AS350 helicopters. Well, that's today's trip around the batch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. The FAA has issued an SAIB follow-up reports from the field of fractured crankshaft gear retaining screws on certain Continental IL520 series, TSIL520 series, IL550 series, TSIL550 series, and TSIOL550 series reciprocating engines. Engine kickback can be identified by the propeller blade stopping abruptly or rotating backwards during the engine start sequence. Continental conducted extensive training, which showed that the engine kickback during a failed engine start can cause high instantaneous torque loads, resulting in damage to engine components, including the starter, starter adapter assembly, as well as the crankshaft gear and its retaining screws. Contributors resulting in the highest likelihood of a kickback include, but are not limited to, the installation of lower inertia lightweight propellers and or a slow or sluggish starting RPM. Slow starting RPM can be caused by low battery voltage, an overheated starter, or high resistance in the starting circuit. The FAA recommended following a kickback the FAA recommends that you inspect starter system components for damage and replace as needed. The inspection includes rotating the starter adapter to ensure a smooth rotation free from binding or ratcheting. If discrepancies are found during the rotational check, we recommend replacing the starter adapter and crankshaft gear retaining screws. It is also recommended that pilots, owners, and operators follow CMI Service Bulletin SB16-6, dated October 19, 2016, when performing maintenance on these products. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, Please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.